Hey guys, what's up? It's Ingrid. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a collective fall haul. I have been shopping around for little bits and stuff since probably September time. So the first things that I'm going to show you guys are a bunch of sweaters that my mom, my sister and I have been passing around. Um, we first went online shopping for sweaters and we found some on jcpenny.com and these are all from the St. John's Bay brand that they sell. And the first one that we got is this really, really cute sweater. Um, it has like a traditional cable knit kind of style going across the front of the neck and down the sleeves. And, and we got it in gray and this really pretty violet purple medley kind of color, which is really, really cute. And we found this sweater and it has a traditional cable knit print, but it's like hugely like oversized done. And this is just really, really cute because it has full length uh, sleeves with little cuffs at the end or if you have little short arms like me and you need to keep your cuff rolled up. And then also the bottom is like a really cute scalloped kind of dealio and it covers your booty so you can wear leggings with this and don't have to worry about anything happening. So we got it in this really, really cute burgundy coloration with like some like bright reds, melons, navies, and whites in it. And we also got it in this really, really cute cream color with a bunch of like cerulins and blues and blacks in it as well. At Target, we found this really, really cute sweater from one of the brands that they sell, Massimo. And it's this plain, simple burgundy sweater. And um, it has like some cable knit kind of like detailing on it, but it also has some like arrows and like chevron and stuff and some really cool other things, which I think makes it a lot different from other sweaters because it's not just plain cable knit, it's more like of a design kind of sweater. And this color is just really, really pretty, so we picked this up from Target. And we went to Old Navy and we found these really, really cute and comfy and soft uh, sweaters that are like this, and they're really so adorable and I love them so much. If I stick my arm through here, they kind of have holes through it, so you need to wear a camisole or t-shirt underneath. But they are full sleeve length and a little bit cropped at the bottom. It depends on how tall you are, if these are actually cropped on you or not. But we got it in this really cute tan cashmere kind of color. And we got it in this really, really cute indigo kind of deeper blue kind of color too, which I think is so cute. Then also from Old Navy, I got this sweater. And it is a olive green turtleneck sweater. And it's just so comfy. It's really, really big and baggy. And it's really, really long too. So the bottom is hanging down like this. And then it's cropped up to the edge like that. So you can wear leggings with this. And it's really, really cute. Super comfy. There's also cuffs on the sweater as well. And I'm really, really excited to wear this. I think that it'll be really, really cute. Also, as long as we're talking about Old Navy, I love Old Navy's pajamas. They are the best ever. I love them so much. So I got this pair of polar bear pajama shorts and I also got the same style in these blue plaid ones because I wanted some new Christmas pajamas and at Victoria's Secrets because where else would people go shopping um, I got this sweatshirt I've wanted one of these for a really really long time and it's one of the oh no where's the it's over here <laughs> it's one of the sweatshirts that has like a turtleneck kind of like scoopy hood which I think is so cute and I also love this because I love gray and I think that the lettering is just really beautiful how it's cool color ombre and then there's also thumb holes which is like hello I love when there's thumb holes. I went to Bath and Body Works and no they did not try and shove everything in this little bag this is just what I tried to shove it in. <laughs> so um, in my house that I live in uh, everyone uses my bathroom as the main bathroom because that's just where it happens to be in the house plan. So I needed to get a bunch of new hand soaps. The first one that I got is called Sunlight and Apple Trees. And it smells like crisp apple, Adam Keen Keensay, and white birch wood. And it just smells like a really, really fresh fall apple smell. Then I got Coconut Pumpkin Latte, which smells like coconut broth, caramel pumpkin, and brown sugar. Basically a PSL. <laughs> then I got Pumpkin Berry Crumble and it smells like wild blueberries, vanilla extract, and glazed sugar and it really reminded me of like walking into a bakery with like fresh baked blueberry muffins in it. And then my favorite smell from Bath & Body Works ever, fresh sparkling snow, how could I not get it? It smells like icy pear and melon frosted with winter musk. It's a really good balance between sweet and kind of musky darker smells. Then I also used Sugar Scrub and uh, I used to have to shave my legs to make my legs smoother. This is their new smell called Magic in the Air 
and it is described to be almond flour, sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. And you'll see a reoccurring uh, scent pattern throughout a lot of the things I bought, which is this smell because it's so good. Then I needed some new body soaps as well. So I got the Ever Classic Japanese Cherry Blossom, which smells like Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa, Petals, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood. I got a Magic in the Air because how can I not? And then I got this other new smell called Snowflakes and Cashmere, and it honestly smells like Christmas in a bottle. You need to go buy this. Then my hands get really, really dry throughout winter time, so I got little... I got little mini bottles of their Ultra Shea uh, Moisturizing Hand Cream so that I could use this as hand lotion. I got a Japanese Cherry Blossom and I got two Magic in the Airs. If you guys don't already know this, I am obsessed with hand sanitizers. It's not healthy. Um, as of right now, I have 80 and counting. So now 85 and counting. <laughs> First I got Snow Kiss Citrus. It smells like a winter cabin clean kitchen, if that makes any sense to anyone. I got Sparkling Mint Blossom, and this kind of smells like eucalyptus mint, but like a Christmas take on it. This is Magic in the Air, obviously, this is the reoccurring pattern. <laughs> I got Crisp Morning Air, which is another one of my favorite fall scents from there. It's just a really, really nice fresh fall scent that is always wonderful to use. And then I got Ninja Bread Man, and it kind of smells like cinnamon and nutmeg, and like a gingerbread tray of cookies just got taken out of the oven. But not least, I got the shirt that I'm wearing. I got it from Aeropostale, and it says, oh dear, and it is a dachshund dressed up as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I could not not get this because my dog Max is a dachshund, so I thought that this would just be so appropriate to get and wear. It is supposed to be a pajama top, but I will be wearing it as both pajamas and regular wear. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked my collective fall haul, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below for any other video suggestions. I have a really, really exciting video coming soon, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you're notified when I update that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!